We are uh, in the midst of a four-year series called A Cache of Kinetic Art, which supplements the jewel of our collection, the Guinness Collection of Music Machines and Automata. And this year's theme for A Cache of Kinetic Art was simply steampunk. The term steampunk was actually coined as part of science fiction in 1987, I believe. And as far as the fashion aspect of it becoming mainstream or um, delivered to the public, started in the 1990s when a group of New York City uh, fashion design students decided to take some Victorian elements and add them to their ready-to-wear ready fashion, and they coined it. They called it steampunk. But steampunk fashion actually was born out of the science fiction community as a way for members to get a little more immersed in science fiction. So they would create these characters, and of course, every character needs an outfit. And so they would um, craft their own outfits to match their new personas. Uh, that they created for themselves. So it was kind of going on simultaneously, I think. And there were um, people who create steampunk fashion who just you know, want to put the, the top hat on with the goggles and a jacket similar to what I'm doing today just to have fun. And then there were some real serious steampunk uh, members of the community who go all out and really create elaborate outfits. There are Three pieces that I think really are the epitome of steampunk fashion. We have our industrial Highlander with his mechanical wings, which are a nod to the technical, uh, technological advances of, and the gadgets of the Victorian era. They actually move up and down. And behind him, strapped to those wings, is a jetpack made from old uh, musical instruments and bottles. And the whole thing is just really spectacular and beautiful. There's another piece also by Paige called Mary McQueen, and she's made with placemats. And her cuffs are actually lampshades. And how she's put that all seamlessly together as well as the other uh, costumers that have delivered for us is really what steampunk fashion is all about, that creativity and that imagination and that self-expression. Our hope was to show the Victorian influence alongside the modern steampunk fashion so that they can really compare the two and see if they can see um, the influences very clearly. We hope that they'll learn a little bit more about the Victorian era and all the things that came from that time the technology, the love of science fiction and world exploration, and how all of that has come together in our modern era as an influence to create steampunk and how big a, a part the fashion actually plays in the steampunk movement. I think that people need to be prepared because steampunk is becoming more and more mainstream and they're gonna be seeing a lot more of it. And so if they wanna get a good uh, understanding of what steampunk is, especially the fashion, they should come and see our exhibit.